day 12, October 23rd. This afternoon we were planning on going after old One Eye, but uh, the forecast that we looked at, we looked at two different wind forecasts, the hourly forecast. One was southwest to west to northwest. The other one was south, southeast to west to northwest. Uh, and then, I don't know, one of them had north in there too. So obviously it wasn't gonna work. Um, it's not worth taking a chance when you've got winds that are changing that much to go after one of your targets. So we're gonna go in and sit in a blind this evening in a spot that historically it's been a really good spot. Uh, you know, I've seen and killed a lot of good bucks back here. I haven't had a buck on camera this year uh, back in here that I wanted to hunt, but that's not to say that a surprise buck couldn't pop out. I mean, if, if I was gonna pick a spot for a surprise buck, this would be one of them because uh, there's plenty of food back here. This has been, like I said, historically a really good spot. So uh, that's what we're gonna do this evening. Not cutting our losses for sure. You know, it's still a good hunt, but it would have been fun to go after that one-eyed buck. Uh, didn't get a chance to go after him last night. That was the promise, but one of our dogs disappeared yesterday. I spent all of yesterday afternoon looking for that dog and then all of today up until about an hour ago and uh, still haven't found him. Uh, you know, it's a bummer, but uh, hopefully he's gonna show back up again. So we're gonna grab our stuff and head back to the blind. It's kind of fun to just kick back and not have any real agenda. Just relax and see what comes out this evening. Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cuddyback, Drake Non-Typical, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, Hoyt, and Realtree. Got about 45 minutes left, maybe a little bit more than that. And uh, there is a doe and two fawns that are working their way in from the north. And uh, I shot two does here the last time I was in here, but I would be tempted if she gives me a good shot to try to take this doe. We had a small buck and a bunch of turkeys out in front uh, earlier, but that's been it so far. The wind. We think it's coming from the west and taking our scent out the back. But that's the beauty of being in the blind rather than in a tree, that even with the swirling wind, you can get away with, you know, a little bit more. Did get some good news, though, that the dog showed up at the neighbor's. He was gone for a day and a half, so that was good. Uh, don't have to spend the day tomorrow looking for it, I guess. Hopefully we'll have a buck pop out here. There's plenty of food. Uh, this is a big and beastie patch and there's a, there's a lot of it left. So there should be more deer popping out here I would think before the evening's over. We'll show you what comes out and, and uh, I might come back in for another interview too before the evening ends. Holy crap. 
crap, yep it is. We were talking about a, a surprise buck, and this would be the spot for him. And that was a surprise buck. Wow. What a deer. That thing is awesome. The brows on that thing had to have been eight or ten inches long. Oh man, I'm shaking now. <laughs> I don't shake very often, but we had a pretty good standoff there. I think Drake is shaking too. Uh, that standoff lasted about five minutes, about 20 yards away. Whew, I think the hit was good. Uh, I think that deer's dead. We'll uh, <laughs> try to gain a little composure here and then go over and take a look at him. But man, what a deer. Whew. We filmed that deer in the next field to the south last year. Uh, and I think it was like November 9th or 10th. And uh, he looked big then, but he looks a lot bigger now. <laughs> Dang, who'd have thought? 23rd of October. What a buck. Dang. So there's some blood right down here. This is where he was kind of stumbling around, right? Mm -hmm. He ran straight through this trail. Oh, there he is, right there. Oh gosh, look at that thing. Oh, 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 Look at that beam. The beam has got to be 28 inches long. Look at that thing. <laughs> Boy, that was the surprise buck. That's, we'll mark that one down. If anybody ever says, what is a surprise buck? We'll have a picture of this deer because wow, what a deer. Look at that thing. We had no idea that he was back here. Like I said, I, I knew of this deer from the year before we saw him sometime in like around the 8th or, or 9th or 10th or whatever it was of November. We never saw him again, never got any more pictures of him. I didn't have any pictures of him this year leading up to now, but there he lays. <laughs> Golly. That thing is unreal.